Howdy ho, neighborinos. We are here today with week uh, six of the PCP, and I had to think about that real hard, but it makes sense because this is the first week after the redraft. So, um, if you weren't really paying attention, you're just clicking this video. Basically, what we did for PCP was, why am I talking so fast, first of all? But basically, what we did was, uh, we weren't sure if we wanted to do Nat decks, if we wanted to do Galar decks, if we wanted to do pre-home, post-home. There was just too many options, dude. It's like, you ever go to the Froyo place, and you're like, can I just get fucking vanilla? Because I don't know what I want. Yeah, me neither, honestly. But um, that's what, dude, we didn't know what the fuck to do. So we decided we're going to do Galar decks the first half, and then it'll be Galar decks free draft because nobody's tiers were set yet. So then the second half of the of the season, we decided to switch to a point draft, a tier-based draft, and we'll do uh, net decks. And honestly, these teams are fucking broken, dude. It was a lot of fun uh, being able to kind of like shape everyone's team into, you know, uh, a good good old net decks team and of course Lando T went and Magirna went like the first two picks so you already know nothing's changed but uh, my team is uh, it's pretty busted I suggest you check out the little mini draft anal I just it's not not a full anal dude but like a little bit of anal not no anal but a little bit of anal so uh, you can see Iron's team on the screen um, the few things I was scared of is like Duraludon or however the fuck you say it, and then actually I realized after I uh, after I started playing him, I actually prepped for the wrong team. Like, I guess I just hadn't fixed it on the dock yet or something. I don't know. Basically, I had I I was prepping for ones that weren't there, so I'm not even really gonna go over his team because it's not gonna make any fucking sense, right? But he does have a scary team. I know he's got Duraludon. He's got a few other things that are scary, and but if you look at his team though. Not a lot of his team really wants to deal with Kiram, so we'll save that for last, right? First of all, first week back from the redraft, I had to use Kartana. Dude, it's been I've been I've been a hankering for some Kartana, dude. So I put it on the team right off the bat. I was like, I don't give a shit if it has a bad matchup. I don't care what's going on. He has like sun. So <laughs> I was like, eh, we'll just be Sash. I'll just lead off with it and I'll just click a button. If he leads off with like anything other than Mega Pidgeot. I can just click SD and I can get a kill. So like I was expecting him to have like like a Torkoal lead, get the sun up, and then get rocks up, you know? That's not what happened, but yeah. Um, so we got Sash Kartana, SD3 attacks. One thing that is excellent about Kartana is that the the combination of knockoff and leaf blade really just really dick down a lot of teams. And that's not like a super like popular combination of moves, you know, like like Shiftry is kind of like that, you know, like that's really all I can think of, but um, I don't know why, but that's one thing I've always noticed using Kartana is that Grass and Dark is usually super spammable on people's teams, and those don't even like coincide with each other very well, but that combination of stuff just happens to usually be well, so I wanted those two, and then we got the Smart Strike for Stab, and that's pretty much it for old Kart, dude, I got... I got speed for fucking something, I don't remember what. Like like I'm saying, I'm, a lot of this doesn't really make sense because I prepped for half of the wrong team, so oh well. But we have 507 attack, so it's not all bad. Next, to pair with our times 4 week to Firemon, we went with Mount Pyrenees, which is just a solid nickname, dude. Go me, honestly. Shout out to fucking Mount Pyrenees over here. Mount Pyrenees over here. Uh, Flash Fire Mega Hound Doom that does get the solar power once it Mega Evolves, so if he does bring the sun, I'm going to be just boosted out the dick, dude. I'm going to be so boosted right now, dude. Um, it's a pretty standard set, though. I got Sludge Bomb just so I don't have to hit a Fire Blast versus like Togekiss and stuff like that. And uh, I'm not even sure if his new team has Togekiss on it, but the one I was prepping for, there was definitely a Togekiss. <laughs> so, uh, Flame Charge just to be able to outspeed stuff like Mega Pidgeot after the Flame Charge and whatnot, and then just straight up just clicking buttons after that. I originally was running like Flame Charge, two attacks, nasty plot, but I was like, I don't really see a scenario where I'm able to Flame Charge and nasty plot, so I don't really think that's going to be necessary. But this is what we're rocking with, and this is what ended up coming to the team. Max speed because he does have a base 115 mon, so I needed to speed tie with that. Next, we have a uh, an MGMT here with Electros, and that sentence didn't make sense. But basically, here this looks like I put some some something into an EV spread that makes sense. However, uh, I built the team kind of late at night, and then when it was the day of the battle, I realized I never finished this EV spread. I never put uh, I never put a fourth move on 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 I think on I think we're Bombi. And then I still needed a few other things too, so I kind of just like stuck a few things on there. Dude, this is PCP. It's a there's a lot of really good players in here, but it's also for fun, you know. So fuck it. Um, 
So I just, I literally just made a spread. I just made it to 240 and 238 and was like, close enough, you know? So Giga Drain, T-Bolt, U-Turn, Knockoff. It hits his team pretty well. Getting rid of items is nice. Uh, U-Turning out and not being trapped by his ground, not being stopped by his ground tap, however, is nice. Uh, T-Bolt does decent damage and then Giga Drain to uh, get some health back, hopefully, you know? And nice little pivot is always nice for stuff like Kartana, uh, Mega Hound Doom, you know? And it was really necessary because he does have a Vaporeon on his team, you know? Next, we have Sanaconda with the Rindo Berry. This was basically a baiting set to be able to stop his Sand, however, I mean, his uh, his Sun. However, spoilers, he doesn't bring the Sun. And he also has a Tapu Bulu, so. Um, which is another reason why Kartana was so good. But uh, he has a Bulu. We got high horsepower, so we aren't stopped by the terrain. Get the rocks up. If he does come in with his fucking Sun Sweeper and wants to just kill me, I can glare him. Uh, with the Rindo Berry, I live any hit. And then I can go from there, and go from Glare, and everything should be all fine and dandy. I think the, I think I went to go like, get the EVs to make sure that I lived. But I think if webs were up, then after I glared him, I outsped him because he'd be at minus one and I'd be at neutral. I think that's how it ended up working, but I don't actually remember. That might have been another thing I just kind of slapped on at the last minute. Who knows? <laughs> Next we got Rubombi. Heavy duty boots, as always. Look at them tiny little legs. Can you imagine tiny little legs in some big ass boots? It's hilarious. I love it. It's a good item. Webs, Moonblast, Bug Buzz, Quiver Dance. I figured, like, just in case he wanted to sit in front of me with uh, with Vaporeon and just click Wish Protect, at least I can quiver up and be able to do a little bit more damage. But, um, yeah, honestly, I don't really see it going very well. You know, does this thing even get Roost? Okay, it does get Roost now. I don't think it got it in the previous thing, so I probably should have ran Roost in one attack. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. <sighs> Last but not least, we have Lefty's Kyrium. Dude, this thing is bulky as hell, man. I actually spent time making this EV spread. Um, with max HP, 24 attack, and a modest nature, and this amount of speed, it outpaces almost everything on his team, uh, like barring, like, what, Mega Pidgeot? And then <laughs> Earth Power Freeze Dry straight up dicks him down, dude, with pressure. Roost and Sub, I can sit in front of stuff like Torkoal, stuff like Vaporeon, and I don't give a shit how much you want to risk protect, how much you want to go for Toxic, any of that bullshit, you're dying, dude. Earth Power Freeze Dry is absolutely busted on Kiram. I am so excited to use Young Salmonella, dude. Kiram Black may be banned, but let me tell you what isn't. Motherfucking regular ass Kiram. Oh my god, let's get into it. So, as you can see, he's got Necrozma. And that's the, like, it's not even in going in order, but that's the first thing that stands out that's scary. So, uh, Torkoal, Bulu, Necrozma, Mega Pidgeot, Raikou, and uh, Vaporeon. Looking at this team, Kirum. Just Kirum. Just Kirum. Basically, I weaken Necrozma, Kirum. Um, <laughs> uh, he's not shiny Raikou, so he can't have Aura Spear, Kirum. And everything else gets Kirum, so let's jump into it, right? Like I said, I'm going to lead off with Kartana right off the bat. And turn one, I should have predicted him to make the U-turn because he's a good player. Iron is a very good player. So the U-turn was so obvious, but just in case he wanted to to do the thing, I, I didn't have the balls to click SD, you know? So now he goes for the sub, and I was like, let's see what set he is. You know, I don't want to just Moonblast and break his sub. He can't kill me anyways, so I'm going to Bug Buzz. We do lower his Spadef, and Horn Leech does a lot. Holy fuck, Bulu, stop it. Um, oh, I just throw up a Moonblast this turn, I believe. I was like, because I'm not going to be able to kill him, so I at least want to break his sub that I can come and revenge him with the uh, Mega Helm Doom. But he goes into Torkoal. I just get up my webs as he gets up his rocks, that's fine. And then, for some reason, I don't switch out, which probably should have been the play. I go for Quiver Dance, and then he just Rapid Spins, which, fuck, you know. And then, again, I don't keep my webs up, and he just kills me with Lava Plume. So... Already, I'm fucking this up, dude. <laughs> Already, I am fucking this up. Now we go into Kirom. At least I can uh, sub up on this thing. He does go into Necrozma. Get my little subby boy. And uh, I can just start clicking buttons. See what damage this is going to be. He's like Max Spadef. Thankfully, he's not lefties. He might be a berry or something like that. Like maybe Cobra Max Spadef for like Mega Helm Doom. But at least I can roost up on this thing. And he goes for Stone Edge. Predicting me to go into the, uh, the Helm Doom on this turn. Not happening. I'm going to roost again. As he's going to go for the heat wave and like I'm not even trying to stall him out with pressure honestly at this point I didn't even think that I had pressure <laughs> I like I have forgotten so at least I can go back into Kartana I need to break this thing I know I don't kill but I can at least break that's 507 attack fuck it Kartana you don't get to kill your first game but you did something very important so 
Now I'm in with Hound Doom. I can just Dark Pulse. He wasn't Cobra. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Maybe he was like AV or something. Who knows? He just goes for the U-turn. Um, I probably should have gone into the eel that I have right there, or at least just click Dark Pulse and got some damage on Vaporeon, but you know, we're not playing this very well. So I can just do a little bit of chip to Vaporeon and I can die. And honestly, I was like, dude, just kill me so I can bring back in Kirum and go ahead and do this whole thing all over again. Now, I figured he would want to switch out because he knows I'm just going to sub, but he actually goes for the Wish, and if he would have clicked Toxic that turn, I would have been so pissed. So now I'm roosted up though, I can just go for the sub this next turn. I really should have played it safe, but oh well. Um, he's going to call Mind. Bit of a problem, but oh well. Earth Power still doing a Chonker, you know, and uh, he's not even lefty, so that's cool. He's going to go for extra Sensory. I can just keep clicking Earth Power. That is a 3-hit KO, and uh, extra Sensory not doing that much. We don't max HP Kirum. So that boy goes down. Kirum has a kill, and uh, Mega Houndoom has a kill. So I can go right into Eel. Last time he clicked Hurricane, or he clicked U-Turn. I didn't think he'd do it again. He does just go for that, and then he can chip me down with the U-Turn. I think I just go for U-Turn of my own. Yep. And guess who gets to come right back in, baby? <laughs> Kirum comes right back in. Now, this is an interesting scenario because if he has Yawn, I'm fucked. However, he doesn't, Lava Boom doesn't break the sub. I can now roost up. If he wants to break my sub, that's all fine and dandy. I'm going to just roost, get this HP back, and basically be a piece of shit. And basically, the rest of this game, I've been kind of on the back foot from turn one. So... I'm not doing great, and he says in the chat on turn 26, this is awful, and I'm just like, yeah, dude, I'm fucking sorry. Okay, now, here's the thing. He said this is awful, right? And if you thought it couldn't get any more awful, I fucking freeze him on turn 28. Turn 26, this is awful. Turn 28 gets frozen, it's double awful. It is so awful now. I mean, I feel bad because, like, I'm already being a piece of shit just here with, with a sub-pressure Kirum. And then I freeze him, and like I'm like I said, I'm already on the back foot, so I kind of really needed that freeze. Like I, I like it a lot. So <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a piece of shit. This is okay. This is this this episode is gonna be POS number two because I'm, once again I'm just being a piece of shit. So he can stay in and roost all fucking day versus me with his Mega Pidgeot. However, I'll get the freeze again eventually. I'll crit him. I'll freeze him. Something will happen. Uh, I'm a Kirim, so I'm just getting leftovers every turn. You know. Now Bulu comes in. I'm going to just go for the sub. I don't know what he has. He has superpower. Okay, so we've seen uh, sub, we've seen horn leech, and we've seen superpower. I was like, okay, maybe he has like leech seed or something, you know? Now, I figured I can just keep subbing because uh, he has to uh, he has to lower his attack every time he breaks my sub, right? He doesn't break the sub with horn leech. So, I'm going to just go for, I'm going to just like, you know, keep doing sub Kirim things. And he actually has the SD. So, this is actually the perfect set to be able to break my Kirim. I was like, fuck, what is going on? Now he has to superpower again. I can just break his own sub because I don't want this getting too out of hand. Actually, at plus one, I think he did break my sub with Horn Leech. I don't know. But uh, we're both at full. He didn't kill me with anything. I'm going to just go for Freeze Dry. It does a lot. Horn Leech does, yeah, barely 25. And I think that's a roll. So with the Grassy Terrain, it is quite nice because I got boosted up. I got not boosted up, but I got a lot of health back, so I can just take out the the Bulu. At this point, it's game. I feel like a piece of shit because this has been 40 turns. This has been this has been 37 turns, or no, yeah, this has been about 37 turns of me being a piece of shit, and then three turns of me getting bodied. You know, so thankfully, we only like we're able to pull it back after I kind of like sack my other three Mons for almost no reason. At least Kirim's able to pull it back for us. But that was the whole point of this matchup was, holy shit, look at Kirim and how good it is. So, dude, like, I really hate playing like this. And especially, like, having to base my whole play style around the 20-minute timer on Wi-Fi lately. It's just, it's not how I like to do things. However, Iron is fucking, honestly, dude, he's one of my favorite people in PCP. He's such a nice guy. Always fucking... Uh, well, not, not as much lately, but we used to always fucking, you know, chill and call and stuff back in the day, and, um, he's always a good person to play against, we always have good battles, and he's just, he's just nice, dude, he, he even said in the chat, he was like, hey man, it's the game, no salt here, blah, 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 and, uh, yeah, great game to iron, once again, I'm sorry, you're the fucking goat, and I'm a piece of shit, so this has been, <laughs> this has been POS number two, but Kirim claims five fucking kills, dude, so, not even bad. Um, remember that in your net decks leagues, Kirum is busted now. If it wasn't busted already, it definitely is now. So, like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. I will see you guys next week. Um, upload schedule. What I want to do is podcast Monday, PCP Tuesday, um, 
either PCP Tuesday or like a, uh, a free for all or a showdown live or something else, something non draft league, uh, one of those days. So it'll be like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So, uh, two of those days will be draft league. Monday will be a podcast and then Tuesday, either Tuesday or Thursday will be PCP or other things. So we'll see how it all goes. I'll probably switch it up a little bit, but I do want to get at least on some kind of schedule since now I'm in my new room and all this shit. So we have the time. I might as well do it. Right. So Thank you for watching. Uh, once again, I'm sorry for being a piece of shit. And like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. I will see you guys next time. Bye forever.